Okay, so on this, an object in motion tends to stay in motion. And and an uh, and an object at rest tends to stay at rest. All right, so that that is for the missile launcher thing, which was kind of noobish, but you know, it was decent. Okay, so after that client climbs up his ladder, I proceed to uh, noob tube him. To show that every action has an equal or opposite re reaction. So that is the grenade launcher experiment. Over here, I missed the first throwing knife because uh, you suck, mate. And Zach moved. No, you garbage, mate. You garbage. Okay, now I proceed to pick up my throwing knife. And I throw it again. Missed. But I assure you that over here. This is a light object, so it does not take a lot of force to move. And, the, and it also moves faster. And I tried to do another throw knife test, but the 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 grenade launcher does in fact not take a lot of force to move. That's why it it moved really fast and ultimately kills Zach. And so a rocket moves really slow, but it also killed me. Be but it also killed me because it's an explosive. And over here, guys, this is an example of of heavier objects need more force to move. The reason that Zach beat me with his RPG, well, 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 one reason that is it is factually lighter, and he also has no ammo for his RPG. Okay. Bullets also are light and don't need a lot of force to move. Thus they move faster. Also because of the magic of gunpowder. That was actually a glitch that uh, my my controller is sticky. So over here was a throwing knife test. See how fast the throwing knife actually is and and its reach. So this is, is this is a light object. It does not require a lot of force to move. Thus, it is also faster. Thus, will cause it to move faster. So, yeah, that, that is basically it, guys.